Sarah Dichi, I'm a YouTuber. I'm going to show you behind the scenes of Tribeca Film Festival. You could tell the people out there who've never experienced Tribeca before, what is Tribeca? What would you say? Tribeca is artists, filmmakers, expressing themselves and hopefully Bob De Niro has the good sense to put them on their roster. <laughs> on the roster. Oscar winner Robert De Niro and producer Jane Rosenthal are the co-founders. And this year, it's really not just films. You're getting into video games, television. If it's a good story, we're platform agnostic. Good stories are all over the place. Tribeca is a pretty cool experience for me because I'm a New Jerseyite. I live in New York, so this is like our own festival. You know, this is our can. Somebody who is 13 or 14 is like curious. So I would say just yeah, do everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like pick up a camera, like Jamie said, and sit down at an editing bay and like just live in every role of filmmaking and, and you'll find out what your strengths are and you find out what you suck at and um, you'll just learn more about the process. I mean, I've been making videos since I was 14 years old and I'm I, there's still so much that I don't know, even all the times that I made movies and, and short films and videos and, you know, it's it's just something where you have to constantly be in it. Yeah. Um, and that goes for like kids who are 12 and 13 and, and adults too. Yeah, like, if you want to be a filmmaker and you're 25 years old, go be a filmmaker. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you. It's rainy, but it makes the streets look so pretty. I feel like, isn't that the trick in movies? Yeah. They'll like water down the streets. They spray the streets all the time. So this is actually intentional. <laughs> with the first screening. It was it was awesome and there was a lot of parallels. So I used to be a computer science major. I am a college dropout, but now I pursue film and YouTube and stuff. And those short films were basically merging the worlds of computer science and also art. What we do is we pitch storylines to different TV shows. So we worked on shows such as The Fosters, Miles from Tomorrowland, um, the Powerpuff Girls, Silicon Valley. We basically try to talk about unconscious bias, right, and what that means, and trying to show that inclusion really matters, and so that we're not just trying to increase um, the prevalence of computer science, but also changing the portrayal of computer science, right, and what that looks like. So I kind of talked about what STEAM is, um, in which we can include the arts into STEM and show that they're not mutually exclusive, right? So you can do coding and dance, you can do coding in music, coding in sports, coding in fashion, right? Coding in anything. Coding is just a tool for what you already love to do. So it's awesome to see the power of film really, you know, spreading, spreading the message of a lot of things, raising awareness about diversity and STEM fields, and not just STEM fields, but merging those worlds to make it steam, stem and art. I like that a lot. I'm here waiting in line for a panel and this, this is the line that has formed outside of the main Tribeca hub. These people are dedicated. Oh, line is moving. still remember what it felt like to watch the first episode of Girls and be alive and tingling with that feeling of, holy shit, we've never seen this before. And why that was so exciting was it just opened my imagination of what was to come. reality arcade. There's a lot of virtual reality going on in here. Everyone has the goggles on. They're experiencing these things 
with the real atmosphere actually like around This is the one that I'm going to do, blackout. Has anyone ever like knocked over a wall or something? I've seen people bump into each other earlier. Tribeca. It was so cool to experience a little bit of everything. Started out with some films, went to a panel, and then ended up with a epic VR experience. After talking to so many filmmakers and people involved with the process, I left so inspired. You know, I make YouTube videos, but there are so many different things you can do within the film industry. You can do anything from working with a massive company like Google to help connect film with bigger picture things. You can be a gaffer who does the lights. You could be the cinematographer, the director. There are so many things that you can do within the world. So super encouraging to talk to people like that. But here's the thing, Adobe are the people who sent me to Tribeca who are sponsoring this video and they wanna help you out starting on this journey. So in the description below, I am linking a free trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. This includes video editing software like Adobe Premiere, Photoshop Lightroom to edit photos, and so many more apps that you can kind of start you know, this creative life journey. So thanks Adobe for hooking up the peachy fam, unreal experience at Tribeca. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one because I post here every weekday, Monday through Friday. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.